In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add textures to your images using Adobe Photoshop Elements. And in this example, I'm using version 11. I have my image opened where I want to add the texture. And I'm going to start out by just showing you a simple drag and drop method. I'll go ahead and go to File Open. Select one of the textures. The image opened up in a separate tab. I'm going to make sure that I have the Move tool active. I'm going to click and drag over to the other tab for the other image and then bring it back over to the image. I'm also going to hold the shift key at the same time and then release. And the texture was then dragged over to the other document. Now the texture file is much larger than my image that I'm working on. So I need to resize it so I can actually see the whole thing. To do that, I'm just going to click command zero because I'm already in transform mode and doing a command zero is going to bring it out so I can see all of the boundaries of that original image. Then I'm just going to hold my option key and bring in the top and then the sides. So it snaps to the boundaries. Do another command zero so I can see the whole thing. I'm going to check that green check at the bottom. Change my blending mode. And then I'm done. Another method you can use to add a texture to an image is just with a simple copy and paste. I'll go ahead and open up a new texture image. Next, I just go to select all and then edit copy. Now I go back over to my other document and go to edit paste. I have the move tool activated so my transform handles are active but again this texture image is much larger than my original document so I'm going to do a command zero to bring it out so I can see the entire thing and then I'm just going to transform it so it fits much better inside of my image command zero again to bring it forward click that checkbox change my blending mode and then I'm done one last method you can use is to place it as a smart object. I'll go up to File, Place, choose a texture. You'll know it's a smart object because it will import with a really large X across it. Then just go ahead and resize it. And then click that check. Change your blending mode. And you're done.